Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Fallout 4. Today let's go talk to Preston. I just dropped off a bunch yeah. of stuff. I made three vegetable starches. Yo, Preston. You lead and I'll follow. No, I have a quest to turn in. What now? We can finally start to think about more than just survival. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to How many settlements do we have? It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can So this isn't just go to another settlement and help people? I'm actually all for it. What happened to it? So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. <laughs> oh, so lovely. Of were killed in that battle. And I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. Do we have any more bobbleheads that I have to drop off? ...was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? Uh, anything else? What now? I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the commonwealth, one piece at a time. Okay, apparently I just turned in a... Uh, Hi. dude. We have enough support around the Commonwealth now that we can start thinking about more than just day-to-day -day survival. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble... You literally just said all this. Fine, agree. I don't care. Sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? Sure. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. Taking independence. Meet the Menacemen near castle. Oh, you leaving? Huh. Well, it took the long way around, huh? Yeah, I don't have any more bobbleheads, do I? Nope. Should look into finding a place to store those magazines. Alright. So, we're going to a place called Castle. Which was taken over by a uh, sea monster. Lovely. Opposition. Okay. Wow. All right. That is quite the trek. I guess we could just go Black Street to Pale and just walk. Or we could come over here and grab this outpost. Let's grab that outpost first. It's right next to another outpost of ours. I know I gave this one crap a little while ago because it was just another go to an outpost thing. But it's literally like right around the corner. And it shouldn't take us that long if it's just like, you know, a clean sweep. We'll see though. I could <laughs> be gravely mistaken, go in there and just get like destroyed by like a group of death claws. Please don't be death claws. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You have a dog? Hey there. You look like someone who could use a dog. Well, I got one. Too, right? Sure. Yes. Got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. I'll take care of her? I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't think I want to sell it just yet. All right, what was that? What the fuck was? <laughs> All right. Anything else? Okay, yeah. Do not kill the dog. I will fucking end you, Raider scum. Good puppy. All right. You really don't want to sell me that dog, huh? Should I... Should I kill him? Hey. I changed my mind. She's not for sale anymore. Dude, she looks like she's had her a hell of a time. You sure? I could put her with the other dog at my place, and she would never have to fight again. I have a feeling if I shot him, that dog would want to attack me, and I would have to kill the dog. I don't really want to do that. We're getting sidetracked. Let's go to that settlement. The handcuffs, awesome. 
Danny boys. All right. Uh, Codsworth, you don't have a hat. But if I find one, I'm putting it on you. Right, that raider and a rad scorpion, though. That's an interesting combination. Uh, says informed gamer. But why was that even a combination? Pretty neat. Okay, who are we dealing with over here? Last time we saw a place like this, it was Super Mutants, right? Actually, last time we saw a place like this, it was some fucking druggy raider. Uh, it's Raiders. What the fuck? That wasn't mine. Was that a fucking... That was not a missile. Boomer. Codsworth, where'd you go, man? Oh, you're fighting him. Good for you, man. I wanted that. Good job. He did have a fat man on him. That's stupid. How am I supposed to defend against that? That thing causes like 500 damage. Are we done? No, there's one more. Goddamn fence. Oh, it's a... It's a turret. And there's a magazine here. Alright, so this structure's ours. Nice. Uh, do 5% more damage at night. <laughs> Lovely. All right, I guess I'll let's go back up and loot the. Uh, I should take the ten millimeter pistol stuff, shouldn't I? Cause you get the ammo that way, right? Right. I have one of those metal armor though. I could give that to Preston. It's mostly metal, mostly. Uh, yeah, you. Do 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 Why do you have a spiked helmet? Do 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 do. All right. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pretty much just finish this quest, which is put up a, you know, recruitment satellite. Then I'm gonna go drop stuff off. Recruitment satellite, really. I'm gonna go drop stuff off at Sanctuary Hill, and then we'll teleport to an area close to Preston. Now you might be saying, Kronos, this this is clearly not. Anywhere near Preston. This is in fact in Vault 111. This is true. I leveled up. I'm level 18. Do you know what that means? It means if I can learn how to scroll down, there we go. And go to Locksmith. Master locks can now be picked. This is the first master lock we ever seen. Right. All right. Let's try this. So far, so bad. Wow. All right. We might go through a lot. <laughs> uh, got it! Alright, what was this called? The, the Crier Later? Nice. So, we got shit damage. Cryo, I don't even know where we even could even get some of that stuff. I mean, what? Let's see what it looks like. What do we get? The ammo for this fucking thing. Oh, you know what? You mentioned something about being here and how it looked unsafe. Let's uh, let's bring you by my husband. See if you say anything. See if I say anything, for that matter. Okay, where are we going? We're gonna go this. And, yeah, I actually got super fucking lost as we entered this place. Oh, is this where Hubby's at? Oh, 
God. Oh God. Oh God. Godsworth, come here. Remember how you wouldn't shut up about where husband went? He's right here. Come on. Command. Check out Nate. You know what? I'm glad they actually put that in there. I can't talk to you. I want to loot you again and get your wedding ring. Alright, well. Good night, sweetie. Who's shooting at me? We literally just got here. By the way, we're at the Lexington Apartments. Oh, you fucking respawned. Alright. I got the cryolator. That was pretty awesome. Did I miss? I missed! <laughs> That's adorable. Alright. Uh, we don't need the, the pipe pistol stuff. The shotgun bullets we do need. Nah, shotgun shells as they call them. Alright. There's one up there. Go get him, Cosworth! Now, we have to blow this stuff up to get to the... Oh no, it's just right here. I figured we'll grab all of these before... That was a lot easier than the cryolator. Or pretty much jack shit. Alright. I figured we'd grab all of these before heading to where uh, Preston is. What's the next one? Vault... 81 and then the National Guard place. Vault 81. We're gonna end with the Backstreet Apparel, apparel because that's gonna be where we travel to Preston from. I can't find the master lock, but this seems new. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that oh, he's dead. Stuff? There can't be that many mole rats. Oh, is it the asshole little kid? I don't give a shit if he dies. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Can I see the body? Please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. What? There's a terminal there. So I started poking Why the fuck wouldn't you tell anyone that? Stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. Oh, they Jesus. They used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good Lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. There might be a cure for whatever I... Austin got from that mole rat somewhere. It's not, he's not a genius. You there. He's a I fucking idiot. Do vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life. Oh, God, sure. Whatever, glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Will do. And find that cure. Hello. I'll catch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. You weren't using those, right? Yeah, see you later. Oh, we're, we're totally not following him. I gotta find the... Like, where the hell this freaking master... Lock was. In the overseer room? I can't find this master lock. So, I don't know. I have it written down. Maybe I'm just dumb. But... You know, whatever. Let's just... <laughs> let's just follow this guy. We'll save Austin. Maybe there was a door down. Maybe this 
No. All right. I already checked down here, right? Yeah. There's nothing here. Hey. Bobby. Hey. Hey. Yeah, well, fine, whatever. I can't believe he did not report this. I'm not going to use my crier later, not for a little while. Seems like I'm going to have trouble finding, uh... Hey, TW, don't scare me like that. Finding ammo for it, so I figured I'll use my, uh, laser rifle. And Jesus Christ. Alright, guess I didn't... Need to do that that many shots. Alright, so mole rats shouldn't be a problem. Even legendary ones we've had little to no issue with. But there could be other stuff down here. Awesome. And there is a terminal. Uh breeding program update. Mole rat breeders, we finally got the breeding program stabilized. As earlier reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression in captivity. This may be due to the growth hormones. Recent generations seem more docile, although some of the keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching, which is preposterous. Oh yay! Intelligent mole rats coming up! I also thought that said sperm production. I was like, what? Um... We have created 197 distinct serums that can treat 36 of known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33 treatment rate. However, 11 of the serum account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. At this time, only 19% of the serums have the potential to be mass produced. We have tasked our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to synthesize more, uh, more of them efficiently. Okay, so that probably means we're going to find some sort of robot lab assistant down here who's been working ever since everyone else here has done. Never mind, we've just found one that will shoot at us. All right. Maybe it's not shooting at us, but I thought I saw a projectatron. No, oh, hi. You're not dead yet. That was, uh, that's shocking. Okay, that. Well, let's go back over here, because I think I missed something. I didn't miss Jack. Oh, yeah, I did. That's it. Uh, we'll just take the duct tape, because we don't need steel or silver. See, I'm starting to moderate my freaking uh, looting because I have like 5,000 stale back at the <laughs> back at Sanctuary. So, you know, I'm still totally going to be getting as many adhesives as possible and weapons because, well, they're just, I'll take that stale even, um, they're just very, very useful. Well, adhesives are like straight up a must-have thing. You can't really do anything without adhesive, which is kind of... I mean, I'm fine with having, like, rare items for crafting, especially late game crafting. But when it's required for everything, it's kind of like, no. You, no, bad. I'll take that. I wanted the cigarettes, but alright. But at least they give you ways to get more of it easily. The the vegetable starch stuff definitely uh if you adjust your farms to it, then you will get a lot, because before this episode I made fifteen adhesives, which is a lot. Especially at this point in my uh my uh level range. I can only use like three or four for mod. But that's changing quickly, because as I level up, the more mods become available, and the more powerful ones require more adhesives. Another Protectatron. Another turret, which is dead. Duct tape. 
I should. I should, you know. Get this thing going. Hopefully he doesn't attack me. Pool. Two likeness. So P-O or O-O -O or O-L. Or P-L. Not P-L. Not O-O. -O. Could it be P-O? Nope. No, all right. Well, we got to back out because we got one attempt left. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, for a second there, I thought I accidentally clicked on something. Pace, zero likeness. Doom, one likeness. Note, one likeness. Clearly, it's a tent. No, then it's such. No, huh? Nice. There we go. Protectron control. Activate unit. Uh, choose personality type. L medical responder. Law enforcement. I think that just changes what type of attacks it uses. Yeah, I have no plans of doing that. Just get down here and help me. Nothing. Oh, he dead. Alright. I'm hidden. I'm like a ninja. I'm one with the trees and wind. Thank you for your meat. Just one, huh? Maybe you were supposed to do this, like, way earlier in the game. Because, good lord. I think Codsworth just said, Booyah! Good job, Codsworth. But we're still in danger. Why? I'm not going to loot all the... Frickin' mole rats. They have nothing of value on them. Were you in there? I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Really the line. The fuck? Why were we hearing Katie and Dr. Pasilla's voice? Oh, intercom? Hydroponics observation terminal. So, I'm sure. The crop rotation impl impl uh, implemented by the hydroponics manager have proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants would discover the secret part of the vault. So... Excuse me. So far, they do not appear to suspect the true nature of their vault. A greenhouse would be a perfect place to introduce Class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as a potential cures should a disease get too virulent. Virulent? I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Lovely. Nothing? All right. So it looks like we only need to go up. Though I did just see a red dot somewhere over here. It's not you. Stem pack. Buff out, buff out. And a baseball bag base. Oh. I think that's it. Alright, let's go up. I mean the mole rats are dying really, really easily, so that's that's totally fine. But, uh, I am a little worried about the Protectatrons. They can be kind of hard. That was weird. I thought I heard ground. Well, this is going to be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice hole. Make this about you. 
Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> I'm gonna kill Halt. One, I like that little Aaron girl, and her mother's totally cool in my books. And they have a cat. And I think, didn't we? Is Holtz cheating on her? I'll fucking end her. Him. Him. Vaulted Hemmings are unexpectedly repurposed this room to be some kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation point to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class B2 viruses. It will be also be valuable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with the commissary. Uh, the primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will be taken there. So if we're about to find out that like the overseer and like the doctors are involved in this. Oh, we are going to destroy them. Also, CW, if I pick something up, it's not goddamn rubbish. I hear the mole rats. There they are, in fact. Where? Where? Here? Monkey. Ow! Oh, were you alive? I thought I killed you. For a price. Everyone has a price. I hear a goddamn roll rat, like, always popping up and going down. Overseer observation station. Although the chief scientists argue against the observation point in the overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We are able to observe the political affairs in this governance, uh, governance, governance since the vault door was locked. When we introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reaction and course of action. All righty then. Let's go down a little bit further. There's gonna be a giant mole rat we have to fight. I hear you, baby. Shaking that thing. Mines? Flame or fuel? You blew up in the pieces. I don't have the bloody mess perk, at least I don't think I do. All right, I'm stuck. Okay. Don't. Don't. Oh. Fuck off. Am I really stuck here? All right, well, that's a shame. That's also gonna be it for this episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, one yet on my video section, check out some of my other content and see if it's to your liking. Next time, well, I will work my way back to this place because I'm likely gonna have to redo all that stuff again. Yep. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day.